welcome to Bad and Kratos episode 4. Sorry I haven't been recording in a while, but there's some stuff that's been happening. Mainly it was my dog got sick, uh, and then it's right around the time he got better, I got sick. <coughs> I'm still kind of under the weather a bit, but I feel really bad I haven't uploaded anything in a while, so I'm going to be recording at least through to, uh... Monkey Valley. Hmm. Hold on a second. This tends to happen. When that happens, all you gotta do is take out the card and then insert it again. So, how has everybody's New Year's and Christmas been? There's a dink beside me. Uh, I was probably gonna... <laughs> something I have to remind you... Uh, something I have to tell you guys. Um, I can't... There's this one boss... Later on in the story that I can't seem to kill... And he's just really difficult. And I'm just, I'm gonna have, and usually that does not tend to happen on this game. It usually only happens on Origins, which is the prequel to this. Um. So, until I can beat him, these episodes are gonna be the last of it you'll get for a while. Um, but I will be starting a new Let's Play to kind of fill that void. Do we have this? Yeah, we have this. Okay, got our pow milk, got our explosives. We're ready to head out. Um, not sure what the new Let's Play is going to be yet, but, um... It's gonna be something I know you guys will like. <laughs> what are you doing, Puds? There's a cat beside me. His name is Puddin. Hi, Puddin. Um, and before any of you ask in the comments, yes, there is a Christmas tree. Fuck, I forgot to fill that in. There is a Christmas tree beside me. Or rather, right here. This is a Christmas tree. We're one of those people who have not taken it down yet, and no, the cat actually has not gone to it yet. Oddly enough, usually he has. I don't know what new let's play I'm going to start, but this one will be going on a hiatus for a little while. Because I want to make sure I can do everything. It's nothing against this game, because I absolutely love this game. It's just, I want to... I want... <laughs> I want... I mean, that's weird. I don't know what the fuck's playing in the background. Don't think I want to know, actually. Uh. Yeah. I want to take a nap. But. <clears throat> I'm thinking about doing Luigi's Mansion. Or maybe Ocarina of Time. I know we're really with the Ocarina of Time. Like, everybody does it, but. It's actually a pretty cool game. I like it. Not my favorite in the Zelda series, but it's certainly got some nostalgia value to it. 
But, like I said, I just want to be sure I can do every single thing in the game. In, in, every single boss in the game before I, uh, continue on this. But I'll get, I'll get to at least die again before I actually stop. So, it won't be, it won't be a forever thing, it'll just be temporarily. Time to park. I'm sorry if um, I'm not talking much. I just woke up. Like, literally two seconds ago. <laughs> Dink, is there deer in the front yard? My dog's staring at the window. Is there deer in the front yard, Dinkies? Is there deer? I know my dinky love her deer. Yes. There's like all these deer that come into our yard and she likes to bark at them for some reason. She's a good dinky. Sorry, I had one time there was a dog and one time there was like a bunny hopping through our yard. And she was she was like going crazy at it. We could under we could, I could figure out what it was, so I went out there and looked. And I don't know what these are. He, we went out there, I looked out there and there was a bunny rabbit hopping along the way, and I thought it was cute. <laughs> she was barking at it. Mole knife. I don't know what that came from, but okay. Sword. Sword. Shield, shield. Shara. Oh. Okay. I missed the wig dash. <laughs> Fuck you, Soggy. Oh man, it's really fun to do in like um origins. <laughs> Because he he actually like uses his wings to hop hop along. Oh no, we hit a thing. Oh no, we gun die. One, two, four. But um, the boss I've got on my other file that's been like giving me a lot of trouble. He's He's supposed to be like easy to an extent, but he has this one attack that's like instant death hit. Then that's what's been giving me so much trouble. That would be way too I'm going over here to get this. Magnus! Come here. Where are you? Ooh. No, that probably won't do much. I guess one of the fights we have coming up. But yeah, after us, uh, Sadal sued, we have to do a thing. We have to do a hiatus. And I feel bad about that. There won't, there won't be games not coming out, so it's not all bad. I think, and I'm sorry I've been repeating this several times over, I just had to, cause like me, like, I had to be reminded of this several times, so I'm sorry if that got on your nerves. Hell, Satan. Uh... But, um, you guys are awesome, and I'm so sorry I've been a piece of shit to you guys. You guys don't deserve it, y'all are awesome, I love you so much. And they died. Time. 
Yay. Wee. <sighs> so who else? Who else had a nice Christmas? Wait. About this, um, I don't think it matters what side you blow it up on. Because it'll blow it up, blow both of them up. Look at that. Oh my god, it's a thing, no. Oh wait, there was children. Oh god, there's a bird. Bird is not the word. Help, help. Time to part. Phone. Phone. Oh. Does anybody else have like a really weird school schedule? Or is it just me? Because like I go to school usually Monday through uh, Friday, not Friday, Thursday, from 4.30 to 8.30, and then I have Fridays off, which is why I'm recording so much today. Uh, it's a rather nice system, I mean, I get a lot of free time during the day, and I don't have any other classes. So those are really the only ones I have to worry about. For. You don't have to tell me, I just... Sometimes I get curious, because I like to know what people are doing with their lives. I'm doing cooking! It's fun. I, I, I've burnt chicken numerous times, though. Oh well, nobody's perfect. better. We made some pickles the last couple of days and they're in the fridge and I can't wait to eat the dough ones because I like the dough ones and they're delicious. Is anybody else ever getting tired of me talking? Like, I, I, know, I know that's like, um, what you're supposed to do in a Let's Play is like commentate on stuff. And yeah, I've, I've found boring ones before, but even with the commentary but like it's like one of my number one fears was like all this that people are gonna tell me to shut up and let the just let the game play itself because I've like had so long there have been so many times in my life people have like I've been trying to say stuff, and people would actively talk over me, and it just makes me feel so bad, it makes me feel like my words aren't important. People are just assholes, though. If anybody ever does that to you, you just say to them, excuse you, I was not finished, punch them in the dick. Because whatever, because I guarantee you, whatever words you have to say are more than likely important, more important than what they're saying. Oh no, I hit the wrong thing! Gotcha. Oh well. Yeah. Like, if anybody's ever been through like that before, I... Like, if, if that kind of thing's happening and I'm around, and I'm, in, I'm supposed to be active in the conversation, I will actively look at the person and tell them to continue. Because that's just a really dick move on other people's parts. Because you're pretty much telling the people that they're words are not important. Which is a dick move. You're a dick if you do that, people. What? Not 
But, um, well, I've been to that kind of thing before, because that's not, it's not a nice thing to do to people, because everybody deserves to be heard, unless, you know, you're a racist, homophobic piece of shit, then kindly please shut up. But, like, if you're not one of those things, go ahead and talk to your heart's contents, baby. Oh, no, it's a cat! I'm like, if anybody ever wants to talk, you know, you guys can. All you have to do is ask is ask to message me and stuff. Like, I'll kindly I'll gladly talk to you if you want me to. That's how friends are made. And everybody needs a an ear to talk to. An ear to for to listen. I don't I forgot the wording for that. Everybody needs a shoulder to cry on and ear to listen. And I've been through that kind of thing before, and it's not the best feeling in the world. And if you if you actively cause that kind of thing, you are just a piece of... If you cause grief for anybody for any reason at all... Wow. I can't... No. If I do it, usually it's because I have a reason. Granted, usually my reason is not very good, but... It's more reason enough for a lot of people. Like, I've... I've been bullied a tire routine in my life, and usually all the people I'm mean to have been mean to me. So I'm... And I'm a real big believer in the treat people how you want to be treated department. believer in all that. I don't know about you guys. I think it's not right. That's how many people treat people with absolute, as absolute dirt and in demand respect. It, that's not okay in my book. That's not okay. Even, even when I get bullied, I still treat those people with some ounce of respect. Because it wouldn't do good for me to just, because that's pretty much sending a bad message. And I hate, like, all these hypocrites out there that say, treat people how you want to be treated, and then to treat people like shit, and then they expect to be treated goodly. No, that doesn't, that's not... That doesn't- that's not supposed to sit well with people. That's utter idiocy. Uh, excuse me. I'm sorry I got into a rant about that. Uh, if you do ever just want to talk to me, just send me a message asking for, like, email or stuff. And I'll send it to you, or go to Tumblr and send it to me. There's fan mail if you have Tumblr, if not, there's a nons. All you have to do is send an ask, asking for mun. Because that's technically, not only that's not only my main blog, but a uh, role-playing blog, so, and I'm the mun of it. Mun is the person who controls the blog. For people who don't know, uh, Tumblr role playing lingo. I like. <sighs> That's nice to know, Callus. Okay, the reason I went back out from there is because we had to go around and do this. Sorry, I haven't been talking about much about the game. I have not really played on it. 
the last the last couple of weeks. Uh, because of like the thing with my dog and all that. Um, and the reason like I haven't been uploading because of him is because he was like real bad sick. And it, ah! Oh, come on. It made me just just made me not want to do anything at all. But he started to get, cause he was like real fat sick, and I was afraid I was gonna lose him. And shoot, the paranoia got to my mind so bad that it got to a point where if I lost him, I probably wasn't even gonna be surprised. I love my Gabari though. I love my Gabari. He's a good Gabari. He's a good Babar. <laughs> we named him after we were trying to fit when we first got him. We were trying to figure out a name for him. Give me a break. And I, I wanted to name him, and I went through a bunch of different things before I finally said, okay, let's name him Gabari then. And my mom thought that was pretty cool. He's a good bub bar, he is. He's a very sweet bub bar. He's been so sick, though, my poor baby. And um, the reason I couldn't upload anything when you got better and I got sick was because... I ha at one point I had like all these bad sinus problems and every time I sneezed or coughed or bent down or sat down it felt like my head was about to explode. But I'm all better now. I'm all better now. I still sound a little stuffy but I'm okay. No! Let's go get my butt! You! Do that once. There's a guy standing in this waterfall by the way. There's a guy standing in this waterfall. Um, he'll come important later on. There's a side quest we get to start in Sadal Sud. He, anybody that's called man or woman or child with a bracelet is going to be part of that um, side quest. It's like one of the biggest side quests in the game. A good portion of the people, though, you can't get until later. So, we can, and he, I think he's one of the people we can't get until later. Please don't get my butt, no! He wants to eat me! Ah. But I mean, like, this is a, this is a really good game. It's fun, I like it. It's a very nice game. 10-10, would recommend. The thing is, like, I got the urge to play Baton Kaitos one day. Back in, back around late last year. And I went and played it, and, um, it took, like, 72, 72 hours total to complete. So if I've been playing for three days straight, I probably could have beaten it. But I wasn't going to do that. But it, it, I was originally going to play this one, but I couldn't find it. We have, like, Two copies somewhere. We have two copies because one of them doesn't ha is missing one of the discs, which is kind of. We have two copies of Origins be because my mom thought we didn't have a copy of Origins. It tends to happen a lot, really. Uh. I mean, the next time we go video game shopping, I'm gonna have to remind her of video games we already have. Cause she bought another Paper Mario. We already had like two in the house. Um, but. Like, Batting Tide does just, like, or just kind of kindled all these old memories I had of this one. Because I, this one came out, like, 03, so I was, like, 8 years old. And that one came out, like, 3 years later, so I was about 11. <laughs> Sup? The enemies in this area aren't challenging enough for me. I can't get motivated to fight. Well, my success is to be expected since I'm privy to the series of combat. Are you interested in hearing the secrets? I'll tell you some of what I know. What do you say, Jibby? Should we check up? Should we ask him about the secrets? No, no. Fuck that noise. Uh, but I remember like we got Origins in 2000. I remember it was 2006 the Origins release because I had read about a Nintendo Power earlier that year. For those of you who don't know what Nintendo Power is, which probably is not a good portion of you. 
uh, it was an old magazine similar to Game Informer, but only about Nintendo games. It was actually really fun. I loved all the stuff they did in it. Uh, but I got Ben Kaido's Origins for my 11th birthday. It was the last birthday gift I ever got from my uncle, from my from one of my uncles who died the following year. He was one of the people who like always gave us all these old games and stuff like. He and my mom would, if we got a game for Christmas, it was usually because he and my mom, he, either he wanted to give us a game, or he and my mom collaborated on something. Like, she and him, they, he was like, he was basically like a, like a, I had like, basically three fathers growing up. Uh, main, three main fathers were growing up, and they were my grandpa, my dad, and him. And I just really miss him a lot. He was a really cool guy. But, uh, more on that next episode, uh, we're at Prakati Ancient Capital. I'm going to go ahead and say because it's like 25 minutes in. I didn't die at all, so that's good. But I'm going to tell you more about uh, my uncle next episode when we go to Prakad, the ancient capital. Doggy. Chibi.